do you think that you had a career as a uh, bureaucrat, a government bureaucrat? No, I could never have stayed in government. Uh, not that I didn't learn something at OPA, but it seemed to me that as I was in government and saw what they did, that uh, it was very important not to have government run things. I don't mean that there weren't so many dedicated people there, and particularly during the wartime period. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, it was very discouraging to, discouraging to me when my superior, David Lloyd, uh, told me on one occasion that I could get a promotion from a P3, which got $3,200 a year, to a P4, where you'd make $3,800 a year if I'd build a little staff. Well, I told him I didn't need a little staff. I had, could do what I was doing without it. This was learning to write letters about tire rationing and that sort of thing. Uh, that uh, turned me off. Uh, but also another thing that turned me off was what I considered to be unnecessarily arrogance, frankly, of little people in big jobs. I mean, the way they seem to really uh, delight in turning down some poor guy at a service station and so forth when he'd write in about his tires uh, that he needed for his rations and so forth and so on. I could see then, and incidentally, it's something that uh, happens through government today, too, that you put little people in big jobs and they want to push other people around. You know, I, was, I, I thought LPA was necessary. Uh, however, it gave me a very good feeling about why government should be limited uh, to what is necessary and what it really can do and not be expanded.